All right, I'm so excited to be coming to you from the fully renovated Ritz-Carlton Naples. The hotel just reopened about 10 days ago, and already you can see how amazing the beautiful new design of the lobby is. Every guest room has been completely redone, and they have a brand new tower now that is uh, adding a ton of guest rooms, and it's all with their fully new renovations. So far, pulling in, check-in has been absolutely perfect. I cannot wait to show you the room. I think they gave us one of the best rooms that they have. Let's go check it out. And we're in the brand new tower uh, that added 74 rooms to the Ritz-Carlton Naples. We have the double door, two bedroom suite. I can't even believe this. I love these cool lighting fixtures in the hallway. Now they could have added more sophistication around the doors and things, but that's okay. This is all brand new build. This tower has been completely new. The hotel just opened 10 days ago. Let's go on into our beautiful suite here at the Ritz-Carlton Naples. I don't even know where to start. As soon as we walked in, we were just screaming with excitement. Look at the ceiling detail. We have our whole walkway walking in with our ocean view room, but we have this incredible entryway with sophisticated walls. There's no walls. It's like material that changes. Absolutely beautiful. And we have three bathrooms. This is the first bathroom right here when you first enter. And all I can say is I missed it when I first walked in. This room is so big. I missed this first bathroom, but this first bathroom has a shower and it even has a sink and every detail, I can't even believe it. The gold, the marble, the lights. I am 10 out of 10 on inspiration. This is absolutely incredible and a shower. There are three showers in this room and it has all the gold accents as for the shower head, for the knobs, it's all gold. And a toilet here with a beautiful photo, incredible bathroom. I have to say, I also just love the wood design, the wood on the floor, the wood entrance here is just so incredible. Now this is a suite, so this is a very nice room here, but all the rooms have this new design. They have all been renovated all over. They have a few hundred rooms, I think about 270 something. They're all this new, beautiful, light, airy, spacious design. Even the ceiling is indented, but what I just can only say, wow just the most grandest entrance I can't even describe from the ceilings to the sides. It's just all different materials, just beautiful. Every place I look in this room just screams luxury, screams wow. I love the light colors. So here is our beautiful suite room. They do not all have suites at this hotel. Most of them are standard rooms, but they all have this beautiful new light airy design and everything is brand new. They renovated everything from the ground up. Every room is just beautiful. So we have a huge couch here right in the middle. Beautiful, unique table. I love the design. Just every piece is so unique. It's nothing you would just go to the, like a, a store and buy it. Like this was all custom made specifically for this hotel. But even this table, it is like pure marble on top with another seating area. I love it when you have like your own bookshelf in the room that is lit. I've only had these at a few hotels in my life from the Ritz Carlton Naples to the Mitsu Luxury Collection Kyoto to the St. Regis Hong Kong. But that's about it. It's really cool to have your unique own like bookshelf with different pieces on it. We have four TVs in the room. This is just one of them. It is just the most massive TV you can join in here or either of the bedrooms. But we have multiple balconies. We have three balconies in this room and they all open up here with the most incredible view of the ocean. And we are ocean front. So all the rooms here either have a uh, ocean front or like ocean side view. None of the rooms just don't have an ocean view here. So that's a great tip. If you're staying here, every room will at least you'll be able to see the ocean, but this is an ocean front room. The ocean side rooms are like those that are on the side. You can still see the ocean. It's just, you have to look out to the side to see it. It's not like straight on like here, but this is our balcony here. That one there is our balcony as well. And this is also our balcony here that's extended that way with its own entrance door. So three beautiful balconies with the most beautiful view. Now I have to show you, we have two more bedrooms to look at and two more bathrooms. And what makes these rooms so much more luxurious is that we actually have 
automatic opening shears and curtains, not only in the living area here, but also in the bedrooms. Those should be at all luxury properties, all Ritz Carlton's, all St. Regis's. But you'd be surprised the hotels that don't have that. This one does. So with their new renovation, that is a huge touch that just makes things so much easier. The other thing I have to point out is the control panels over here. They are all very easy to use. We were talking about that. You have light on, light off, and it's very simple and it works. You press the off button, everything turns off, especially in the room. So it's very easy. You don't have to get up to keep touching all the switches um, like we did at the Edition Miami Beach. Everything here is just uh, right from your bed or right from the hall and it works amazingly. So this is the first time I've ever been upgraded to a two bedroom suite that has one room with the king bed and the other room with two beds. So we have three beds in this two bedroom suite. This room here has the two double beds, which I have to say, they did a perfect job on the renovation. They did a perfect job with building this new tower. Look at the headboard. It is sophisticated. We have all these different textures. We have like this woven material here to this different material, to the gold, to the indented lighting, to the wood. It's not just a flat wall. I hate it when there's just a flat wall and they just shove a bed in front of it with a photo. The bed here is actually incorporated into the wall itself. It's like all one piece. How this backdrop here of the bed, it's just so beautiful. These lights, 10 out of 10 on inspiration as well. Just, they're so beautiful how they just match the room perfectly with the gold. They look so expensive, just absolutely gorgeous. I love the nightstand. We've got this really cool, like old style looking like alarm clock radio thing. Uh, that is very unique as well. But just like this piece, like you can't go and buy this, this nightstand piece. It is just such a unique piece. It's also very nice when they have the ottomans in front of the bed. And these ones are also very beautiful. They're nice to kind of put your luggage on, but it's a really luxury hotel when you have those because a lot of them actually don't. And it's just a nice, beautiful piece there, but this one is gorgeous. Here's that second TV right here. And this is, yeah, probably one of the bigger ones I've ever seen. Just massive. And I like how it's not just pushed on the wall. Look at this cool box it's in. It's in like this wood framed box right here that surrounds it and it kind of curves behind. It just, it literally curves the whole way behind it with a huge uh, dresser in front of it with plenty of storage for your clothes. So if you're here a few more nights, you can have that. We have a seating area over here. And then here's that other balcony I was mentioning that we looked at before with also amazing ocean views. Now we also have the second bathroom. So I showed you the first bathroom walking in. This is just the bathroom for these two beds. This one is equally as impressive. It's just bigger, but we have the toilet area and look at floor to ceiling marble all the way back. And I love that picture. It actually inspires me. It's like blue ocean waves. Really nice. Some pictures are weird. We have beautiful two sinks. So we already had one sink. We have two more sinks. So that's up to three. Look at the gold plating. Look at how the tile goes all the way to the ceiling. Look at the really cool lights, the gold towel bar, the lighting underneath the sink as well. And then the shower again, all gold. We got the gold bar, gold accents in there. We even have a bench and this is just shower two of three. This isn't even the master bedroom shower, which you will be blown away by, but absolutely spectacular bathroom. I absolutely excellent. Now the other thing I'd like to add, so this right here, basically from this wall over is what a basic best guest room here would look like. It's still, as you can see, it's still pretty spacious. You have space and you have a beautiful bathroom. This is basically what one guest room is going to look like, but you're still going to love it because it's, it's just beautiful. You, you want to be in here. You want to be looking out at the ocean. You want to be looking at all these beautiful designs in the room. It's just so inspiring to be here. I might, it's just really hard for even me to leave the room. There's just so much to do outside, but the room is just so beautiful. Now we're going to walk all the way through our beautiful suite area to the master bedroom suite. But on the way there, we're going to stop because this is the most high end Nespresso machine I've ever had in my whole life. It is the next level up of Nespresso machines with the larger pods and a completely different design here for Nespresso machines. So this is the like five star top of the line coffee maker you can ever have. All Ritz Carlton's have Nespresso machines. That's a brand standard, but this is the first one I've been to that has this extra upgraded one. It might only be in the suite, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the standard rooms have them but the suite definitely does, which is amazing. Now, all of these are for purchase. You also have the uh, fridge down below with some more drinks for purchase. And the fridge here is just beautiful how it opens on double doors. But if you get hungry, you can take any of those and it's just charged to the room. We have a little sink here, which is unique. I guess you can just wash your hands here if you're getting ready, but that's a, another added feature that is not necessarily necessarily. It just adds luxury. Now, 
Here is the master bedroom suite. So we had that room with the two beds. Now this one has the one king bed, very more open because you only have one bed in here. So with that extra space, the background design is just as incredible. We've got the wood, we've got to the uh, woven material, we've got to the other really cool white indented material over there. So I love that there's still no flat walls. It's all incorporated. Over here, we have a extra big nightstand on either side. So it's larger than the other room. Very nice, beautiful light over here with the seating area. So we have a lot of seating areas as well as the third balcony over here, which also has just as amazing views as the other two. Now there's another TV over here. This is TV number three, very large as well. They've all been this extremely large size, but I like that this TV too, like I mentioned, the other one had the wood framing around it. This has a huge frame around it. And it makes this wall not flat because it adds a layer to the wall that's like 3D. So it's not just like a flat wall. It's actually like a TV with this, and this is like marble, and you have a chair to sit at and do some work. And you can look off to the left and see those ocean views. More storage down below. Now we're going into the master bathroom. It's a little bit smaller, but it reminds me a little bit of the amazing bathroom I had at the St. Regis Dubai, the Palm. This isn't as big, but the design and style and sophistication almost match it perfectly. We have an incredible tub here with this really cool light. That's the first thing I noticed. Beautiful, beautiful backdrop with lighting around the sides. Incredible. Now here is that fourth TV I mentioned. This one's a little bit smaller, but still four TVs and you have a big one right here in the bathroom. So when you're in the tub, it's literally not, sometimes they just have a little one built into the mirror. This is a very big one that you can be watching. Now here is the toilet. We have a toilet here. And then over here we have the shower. And the shower here is kind of like the other shower in the other room, but it has a full on rainfall shower head up top. So that is a very, very nice touch. Still very beautiful design. All the tiles in the bathroom, this takes a lot of work because it's not just big tiles. You have all these little pieces here that they've done. So you, you just kind of notice those little details. We have two more sinks. So we're up to five different, six different sinks in the whole room, but the vanity here is just as nice again all the gold framing, the beautiful marble, one of the best vanities I've ever had in my life. Now it keeps going over here. We have closet space with the robes. These robes are actually very nice. They're not super thick and plush. They're a little bit thinner, but they say Ritz Carlton and they're still comfortable where I do approve of them. So that is a very nice touch. Now for the slippers, all the rooms have the slippers and these are the brand standard ones, which are supposed to be at all Ritz Carlton's the Frite brand. So this is just the standard, but they're super soft, super plush. The only thing I don't like is this tab here. Sometimes it, it messes with your heel when you're wearing it, but still I approve of the slippers. They're very thick, very comfortable. We have the safe over here, ironing board, iron, and then extra amenities for the bed. We have a little work, uh, place here where people can be getting ready, like a makeup mirror with a smaller mirror as well. And then over here we have all the hangers so we can hang all our clothes up as well as a luggage rack. So you just have plenty of, plenty of closet space, um, which is very, very nice, but it's in the bathroom, which is very unique. Overall, I am just so impressed and just happy about this room. This is what I look for when I travel the world is Marriott properties at this level. They have got it right when it comes to the room. Just everywhere you look is so sophisticated. They put so much money into the design. I feel so comfortable and happy in the room. Last time I was here two years ago, it was extremely dated. It was like the worst Ritz Carlton I've ever stayed at. They've completely turned that around 360. It is now like, or 180. This is now like the best, almost the best Ritz Carlton probably in the whole US. Um, also the Ritz Carlton New York Nomad was also equally as amazing, but I, words cannot express this suite. This is absolutely incredible. I can't wait to show you the rest of the hotel. Let's go take a look. And welcome to the beautifully redesigned Ritz Carlton Naples, Florida. This went from being one of my worst Ritz Carlton's in the world to now my one of my very best. When we first stayed here, it was absolutely so old. The rooms were so dated and now it is one of my favorite hotels in the world. Now this is the brand new lobby. It has been completely transformed. I believe they spent over $50 million on the whole project. Now it was closed for a long time as well because of Hurricane Ian, which came through in late 2022. And that further set back the hotel open date and the renovations because of that storm. The hotel was closed actually for quite a while. So during this stay, we were actually here just 10 days after it reopened, but already gorgeous. 
This is the brand new lobby bar in the lobby, and it is also just breathtaking. They have redone everything, all the lighting, the ceilings, the sides, everything is brand new, and it is built up to international Ritz-Carlton standards of the finest quality. This property you will not want to leave. You're going to want to just relax here. It is so visually appealing. It is worth the extra price point compared to staying at any other hotel. This is the upper deck you can access as well in the lobby. It just has some more seating areas and you can look over at the whole thing. But overall, everything was just gorgeous. Now, the rooms are also fully transformed. They also built a brand new tower called the Vanderbilt Tower and it added 74 rooms. So in total, the property before had 400 rooms. The new tower has 74. So that makes 474 of the most incredible, beautiful rooms total. I mean, Perfect, perfect, perfect score on these rooms. Absolutely gorgeous. And every room here also even has a balcony that you can look out at. Here's the pool. We also had a wonderful, amazing sunset. Now, this is just the stark contrast to what the rooms looked like when we stayed here before the renovation. They were absolutely awful. It was like Motel 6. And now it's absolutely stunning, luxurious, gorgeous. I just cannot say enough good things about this property. This is an overview of what the whole property looks like. You can see that new additional tower there. And then heading outside, this is right in front of the uh, building. You can kind of walk around. Some of the features weren't uh, all working like this water fountain. They're still working on it because it had just opened. I'm sure though now it's working great. Here are the pools. They actually added a pool. So this is the one of the pools. And then they have another pool over here that also has some lap lanes. Now overall we were just a little bit disappointed with the pools. We think that they definitely could have made it like an infinity edge pool. Added some more shade. Added maybe even a lazy river. It was just kind of boring the pools with nothing really to do out there. Maybe they need to add some more floaties in there or something. This is the sofa restaurant. This is brand new. It is out there by the pool and they offer a vegetable forward menu created with authentic spices. Now this is heading out to the beach. It is an amazing boardwalk. You get to walk all the way down to the most gorgeous beach and the water was so warm. It was literally like 90 degree water. It felt like we were swimming in a hot tub, but you can sit out there. They escort you to the seat. You get your own seat and it's included. I believe you get two seats and two towels with your resort fee, but you basically can relax at the beach. And then they also have a bar out there called Gumbo Limbo. They also have food as well, but you can basically order things and relax at the beach. Now, here we are going into one of the most beautiful and largest Ritz-Carlton club lounges in the world. Out of all the Ritz-Carltons I've stayed at, making this video now, I have been to 21 Ritz-Carltons, and this is the still the only one I have ever upgraded and purchased the club lounge. It is pretty expensive to get this club lounge access but for this property it's the only one I chose to do it at because it is gorgeous I mean just look at this it is an experience all in and of itself and it was worth every single penny even though it was expensive they have five offerings a day of food so they have breakfast lunch dinner and then in between they have like a snacks and then in the evening they have a dessert here's the complete schedule but the service was so attentive it also includes drinks even alcoholic drinks they even have some chefs in there that make different foods each day like little specialty items and then of course it's a buffet as well with all these other foods it's unlimited you can just help yourself as much as you want so we literally we when we checked in we stayed at that hotel hotel the whole day the whole night and we just ate in the club lounge for all five uh, meals that they serve and we just enjoyed every single second of it but just absolutely gorgeous it actually i believe is the second largest ritz carlton club lounge in the world it is huge this property is pretty big with a lot of rooms, but it definitely did not feel crowded. They also even made us like some specialty items because uh, some things had some uh, ingredients that we couldn't have. So they were very accommodating, but even the desserts, everything was just fantastic. The drinks, even the incredible like snack section here, you actually can just go in there, grab bags of popcorn, grab drinks, grab coffee t at any time during the day. I think you can just at least get in that section. Now here's still in the club lounge. This is the beautiful bar in the back. Look at that beautiful ceiling light it just dangles down and it hangs so gorgeously look at the walls look at the seating look at the floors look at the wood tones you're just going to want to sit there relax enjoy your drink it is such a visually appealing club lounge i just cannot say enough good things i definitely want to try more ritz carlton club lounges in the world especially the brand new ones it's just a lot of times we're not at the hotel the whole time so it might not be worth paying that extra money if you're not going to be able to enjoy all of those five meal offerings Okay, now, so this is the breakfast. That was him just making an omelet. And then this is all the breakfast foods. So they have plenty of fruit. Then they have all these little containers with some more food in there. But I was actually very impressed with the breakfast because that they actually had an omelet chef. Now, this is the dinner. This is the just little bites. It's not like 
order off a menu it is buffet and they do make like a little specialty item it was like a fish with rice but then here's all the desserts and then in the evening they even put out just desserts only a whole bunch of them and they were literally some of the best desserts i've ever had now this is their fully transformed as well dusk restaurant it is an asian fusion restaurant so it's more asian food and it was also just gorgeous. We did not have a chance to eat here, but it was just breathtaking. Now, this is their other restaurant I didn't have a chance to look at. And then finally, they also have a little gift shop area here that you can go shopping. And then right next door to that gift shop is another place. It's like a little like coffee dessert place. And this is kind of right outside by the club lounge, but you can go in here and get like coffee if you want one to go, even ice cream or gelato or things like that. But they had so many restaurant options, food options, even that one out the pool I showed you earlier. So definitely a lot of dining choices here. So if you are staying in Naples, you don't really have to leave the hotel. Everything is here. Unfortunately, the spa was not open when we were there. We were literally there right before, but this is the new pictures of what the spa looks like. And it looks insane. All right, now for the review of the Ritz Carlton Naples room, five out of five. This is one of the best design rooms I've ever been in, top of the line, just amazing room, every detail, so sophisticated. The word for this room is sophisticated. They added so many beautiful new furniture pieces, detailed to the wall, headboard, to the bathroom, to the lighting fixtures, they all inspire me. All the rooms here, all 474 have been completely transformed into this new design. This new tower added 74 rooms. They already had 400 rooms, now they have another 74. So all together now the hotel is 474 rooms and they all have this new design, which is incredible. So comfortable, so amazing. The slippers, the robes, the, the glasses, just everything about this room was just absolutely tremendous. Even in a standard room that's not a suite, it's still just as amazing. Next up is gonna be Inspiration. Inspiration, I am gonna give this property a full five out of five, mostly because of the new design. The interior is just extraordinarily inspiring from the beautiful lobby to the rooms, as well as just to the most beautiful views. Every room here has ocean view. It's either ocean front where your balcony is facing the ocean, or it's on the side where you look out to the side and you see the ocean. But otherwise, every room here does have ocean views which also adds to that inspiration. Uh, next up is gonna be service. Service is gonna get a five out of five. It's one of the few hotels we actually pulled up. They actually helped us right away. They took us inside. The check-in people at the front desk were so welcoming, so kind. They, they actually made us feel like we were happy to be here, which is what I look for. And uh, now they still, it's only 10 days since the hotel has reopened uh, from the hurricane. So this is like day 10 of their reopening. And there are still a few things with service. Uh, some of the things, one of the things we requested was never came. Um, they're still working out a few kinks, but they are trying their hardest and they do go the extra mile to make you feel welcome. Especially, this was our first time ever uh, going to the club lounge. I've been to 14 Ritz Carlton's and I've never done the club lounge before. We did pay the extra money to do it here and it was extraordinary. The service there is excellent. They're always checking in on you. Uh, very well established employees there. Uh, very, very good service. Finally, value. When I come back, that's going to get a full five out of five. When I was here last time, I think I gave value. I didn't have you the YouTube thing at the time, but like on my own personal thing, I gave it like a, a 2.5 or three out of value just because the rooms and the build, the inside was so dated and old, I felt so uncomfortable. Now it's like a completely flipped. It is so inspiring. I cannot wait to come back. Uh, before I never wanted to come back. Now I cannot wait to come back. So full five out of five, this gets a perfect score. The only thing that was a little bit of a drawback is the pool. It's very basic. They have a kid's and family pool and then they have an adult pool, but they're just literally holes in the ground with water in it. There's no like features. There's no uh, like lazy river. The hot tub doesn't have like a really cool like fountain like the one in Orlando did. It's just very basic. There's not a lot of like landscaping by the pool. It could definitely have been improved a lot. Um, but keep in mind though, if you do stay here, it's just a quick boardwalk right out to the beach and they have tons of beach chairs set up and you can relax on the beach so that kind of made up for the pool kind of lacking a little bit now for the pricing if you're looking to stay here the rates are actually pretty expensive it's around like 750 minimum it goes up usually over a thousand dollars for the lowest price room here on average so it is very very expensive suites like this this one can run for anywhere from like three thousand dollars and up a um, little bit smaller suites i believe like 2500 and up and then club lounge is an additional expense so if you want the club lounge 
Um, it's, I think, around like $500 for three guests, something like that. I think two guests is like $400. It can always change. It just depends on their occupancy. Definitely check it as something you can upgrade to. But overall, uh, I would recommend, though, using your points to stay here just because you're going to get a better value. I believe it's about 70,000 to even sometimes over 100,000 points per night, uh, which when the rooms are 700 to $1,000 or more, you're getting a penny a point. So if you're looking to stay here and you have merit points to spend, I would recommend using them just because it'll save you a little bit of money and you're going to get about a penny a point. But overall, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it. I can't wait to show you in my next review. You don't want to miss it, so please subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave those below.